Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over the SRBV operator's chest rig for your AK rifles. This one here is the version 2. A while back I did the version 1 and uh, while certainly a very high quality product as everything I've seen by SRBV is, I think the version 2 has a few uh, good improvements particularly in terms of ergonomics and location of items and the straps. The straps are a little bit more heavy duty on this one than they were on the version 1 which certainly is a good thing. So we're going to get into all that and the rest of the details coming up next. On the front of the chest rig here we have four main magazine pouches and these fit two mags each and we'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, they are velcro secured. They have these little tabs here that you can grab onto to pull quickly. Now the pros of velcro for those of you guys that are sort of new to the uh, accessories out there is that it tends to be very secure so when you're moving around uh, your stuff's not going to flop around on you and it won't come out if you're low crawling or something like that. Um, they do incidentally have these little dividers in there so that way especially with steel mags they won't be clanging around. Uh, so those are the pros of the Velcro. The cons of the Velcro is that it tends to be a little bit slower if you're trying to do rapid mag changes. So it's sort of a pro and a con there. Speed versus security. It's been a classic theme in military operations for the last, you know, 500 years. So that's just how it is. When the mags are in there, you secure it up and uh, it fits just fine. You can also use your 74 mags in there and they will work uh, equally well. Beside the mag pouches on both the left and the right side are two grenade pouches and also a signal pouch here. The uh, Russians are famous for using signal flares. You could also use this though for a radio or several other things. If it's going to fit within those dimensions, it'll fit in there just fine. It does have the little uh, bungee tube there to secure those things down. So for a radio, it would secure the antenna down and for the rockets, obviously, or the signal flares, I should say, it'll secure those down as well. But as you can see, it's a mirror image on both sides. Just above the mag pouches, you may not have noticed, but there is a map pouch in here, and you grab the little tab here, pull it up, and uh, you can put whatever you'd like in there. Obviously, they call it a map pouch, but a lot of folks know you can put food or protractors or anything like that in there, and it'll work just fine. And uh, on the bottom here below it, you do have these uh, two loops that go around, so if you want to actually put like a belt underneath there, sort of old school style, the old school web belt so to attach additional accessories, you can do that as well. <clears throat> The entire rig is made of Cordera fabric. It is 500 denier Cordera, and uh, for most applications, 500 denier is going to be what you want. It's not as thick and heavy as the 1,000, but it's still very durable, very abrasion resistant, and will last a long time. Now, the uh, harness here is an X harness that goes over your shoulders like so. I'm a fan of the X harnesses. I know a lot of guys like H harnesses. Really, it's kind of a personal preference thing, but um, I prefer the X, and the padding here for your shoulders is pretty good, and it's also... Uh, pretty decently wide as you can see there. There's an AK-47 uh, round so you can get some perspective on just how wide it is. But that helps distribute the load, especially if you're carrying eight fully loaded uh, AK rounds, or AK max, I should say. It can get a little heavy, and uh, it does a good job at uh, spreading the weight out, and it doesn't really uh, bear on your shoulders as it could if they were a little bit thinner. Uh, additionally, around the waist here, we do have this strap, which will help it from moving when, we're, when you're actually running around or doing anything sort of dynamic, if you will. You can uh, strap that in, and it'll secure it tight down around your waist. The rig that I have that you've seen here throughout the video is in the Surpat camouflage pattern. Now, I don't have it on because it would really jack up my green screen. But you can see here from a few different shots, just basically out of my front lawn and uh, in like a bush or something like that, I think is another shot I took. It does a good job of blending in with a lot of different environments. Now that's not in a woodland environment where you'd have more shadowing. This is just a couple random shots around my property. And even there, it does a good job. When you actually got into real life woodland environment, it would be doing even better. Um, so that's the Surpat camo pattern, which is again, very popular in Russia. And I believe these are actually coming in in solid colors as well. I think black, maybe even OD green, but for all the details on that, I contact circle10ak.com, which is where I got mine. They are the only uh, U.S. retailer and distributor for SRVV products. Uh, so if you want to get it within the country with having, without having to deal with all the uh, overseas shipping and all that stuff that deals with coming from Russia, uh, I'd recommend you check out their site and let them deal with it. Uh, so uh, that's the place to get it. I believe the price over there for the Surpat version is $125. And... Uh, it's certainly a high quality product. A lot of folks like the uh, SRVV gear um, because it's sort of authentically Russian, if you will. Uh, these uh, rigs 
V2s in particular have been showing up in uh, a lot of news stories lately with the uh, Ukrainian conflict and the non-Russian Russian soldiers that are over there uh, fighting it. A lot of them are wearing this stuff. Um, so it certainly is in use in uh, military units over there and uh, seems to be doing quite well. If you guys have any questions about this rig that I didn't answer here in the video, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. And if you have specific questions as to the import and stuff like that, definitely check out Circle 10 AK. They're the ones that can answer it, not the guy here in front of the camera. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.